How's it going guys and welcome back to the channel. I know that tomorrow is Thanksgiving so I wanted to say from Sam and myself we wish all of you a happy Thanksgiving. Hopefully you guys stuff your face with turkeys and spend some quality time with friends and family. I also wanted to let you guys know that a couple of my homies are having some wicked Black Friday deals. So there's three of them that I would like to go over. Over at Onyx, you guys can save 30% off a elite membership or a premium membership if you guys use the code BF23. So make sure you go over there and punch that in because it's a heck of a deal, 30% off, and it gets you guys on a lot of birds, deer, etc. My friend Corey Loeffler from DRC Calls is also having a little Black Friday sale and a lot of you guys are always asking what calls are we blowing and Sam and I this entire season have been using the Harlot Duck Call but every other call on that website is absolutely fire so if for some reason they are out of stock all the other ones on there are a great option as well. You guys can use my code MINDAC15 to save 15% off as well as you guys get a free t-shirt with an order. So make sure to go over to DRC Calls and check it out. And last but not least, my good friends over at Ducks Waterfowl is also having a sale. I'll pop up a little graphic right here so you guys can check out every day what they got going on. Uh, you definitely got to make sure you get them something nice because Christmas is coming up and you got to look good. So make sure to check it out. Check out all of the deals that I just talked about and let's get into today's video. Hi, honey. What up, Zombie? Not much. Dude, are we breaking the curse today? I hope so. It's about time we have a good one. Hey, what the dog doing? Good morning, folks, and welcome back to the channel. As you can see, I'm with my good buddy, Nader. And for those of you that don't know, it seems like any time Nate and I hunt together, it hasn't gone well yet, okay? So hopefully, fingers crossed, Today is gonna be the day. I'm gonna overlay a little video right here of the feed that Nate and I have been watching and we've just been chomping at the bit to get on this field. And huge shout out to Nate because finally he convinced the farmer to let us come out here and do a little bit of hunting. Now, this thing was absolutely loaded and we decided to do a morning hunt this morning, obviously. And it seems like a lot of the birds in the morning have just been wanting water. So. It so happens we use the Onyx Hunt app to see that there was some flooded corn in here or a low spot in this cornfield that has water in it. So that's what we're going to set up on today. We're going to toss out some floaters as well as maybe some silhouettes and drive the side by side out there and see if we can do a little flooded corn hunt. I'm super excited. We also are going to have potentially one more guest joining us, uh, my good buddy Caden over at Open Water Taxidermy but I don't know where he's at right now and I haven't heard from him. So he might be sleeping in, not 100% sure, but we're gonna pack up the side-by-side, -side, rip on over to the field, and I'll see you guys out there. All right, Daddy, I'm coming up here, Bubba. Moments later. Morning, Bubba. Morning. Are you ready? I am so ready for this. What up, Nova? Oh, she's she's locked in, bro. She's ready to go. <laughs> All right, guys. Scratch everything I said this morning. Uh, one of Nate's buddies was actually here too, and we decided to hunt the field instead of that flooded corn. So we're just gonna hop in with these guys and just do some shooting. I'm gonna be holding the camera for a while, and then. Eh, I might bang on some birds later in the day, but just sit back, grab some popcorn, enjoy the show, and hopefully Caden could hold down the left side. Kill them all. Ha, 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 ha. 
Two, three, four.
What's over that click? My gun clicked. No. <laughs> yeah. Here. Here. Back. I think Back. there were just four, right? Back. Back. Damn, I maybe should have shot on that. <laughs> yeah, one. that was good, dude. That was <laughs> awesome. All right, so we've been sitting out here for a little bit, and the boys have been absolutely banging on them. We just had a group finish really nice, and I think uh, as much as I like filming this, I think I might pick up the gun here, because that last group got me a little antsy. So, yeah, drop a thumbs up for this video. Let me know if you're enjoying it. Oh, God. Oh, God, Pintail. Yep. Don't kill that pintail. Kill him. Oh. Nice shot. I'm trying to get a couple of hours in here. 
Damn. Yeah. I wanted that, but I was like, I I'm going to let Caden shoot that. I'm going to let Caden shoot that one. <laughs> Widgeon? What are these? Oh, you shoot. I'm not going to shoot. Oh, dude, nice Widgeon. Right, God. Oh my God. This doesn't suck. Dude, there's like no Drake. So there's like one Drake. That was pretty. There's a lot of hens right there. I didn't shoot a single bird, but hey, it's still fun watching all these birds work. That was crazy. Let me see that one. You like that? You got a little hen sick. action. It's got the hen belly, but a green head, obviously. Not too bad. That's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Nice Jesus, dude, what am I doing? Holy. That's the limit. <laughs> Three shots, brutal. But regardless, it was a fun day. We're gonna get all these birds lined up and show you what they look like. Check out that sexy Euro. Oh my gosh. This thing is an absolute stud of a mount. Well guys, I just got back and I wanted to show you a mount that I just got from Caden. Uh, that was the main reason why I invited Caden up to come hunt with us too, was to get this bird from him. And man, Caden did an absolute awesome job on this. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Caden runs open water taxidermy. And if you guys wanna bring any birds to him, whether you're in the Midwest or anywhere in the United States, you can ship it right to him. And he does the best quality work for the best price. So he will be linked down below as well. But I'm not gonna end the video right here. We had an awesome hunt this morning, as you guys saw, ended up with our limited ducks and had one hell of a time watching all those birds work. But Caden's gonna be sticking around the area. And I think we're gonna try to get on a couple more hunts uh, in the next few days. So I'm gonna roll this video into tomorrow or whatever time that we end up hunting again. So yeah, I just wanted to give you guys an update, show you guys the mount that I just got and let you guys know that I had a lot of fun this morning. So plan on seeing you guys bright and early tomorrow morning. 24 hours later. Yeah, bubber, you collect that elixir. I'm just clashing, my guy, waiting for these birds to fly on this overcast day. Well, folks, it is the next day and overcast, pretty windy. Decided to do a little evening shoot with the homie, Sam. Caden from Open Water Taxidermy had to leave, so that's unfortunate. But I found this feed late last night, got permission on it, and strictly a duck feed and it rained a little bit this morning, so we weren't sure how the weather conditions were gonna be in the field, or I guess I should say the field conditions. Uh, if it was too wet, we didn't wanna bring the trailer. So we just came out here in one little truck with a bunch of silos. So let me show you. We got the old Big Owl spread out there today. Uh-huh, through about, I don't know, I wanna say maybe 10 dozen, and then another probably eight dozen of the mallards. They look pretty sexy. And then we got four spinners, but one of them is being a pain in the butt. 
Drop a comment down below. Let me know. Does Lucky Ducks have pain in the butts for you guys? Or are you guys straight mojo guys? And they do they work pretty good. So that's interesting. But that is the spread today. And then Sam and I found a nice uh, little spot here where it wasn't really chisel plowed that good. You can see over here, it's a little more tillage. And uh, right here, a little better of a hide. So Sam, close your doors real quick. Let me see. Let me see how it looks. Wait, where did Slayman go? I can't even see him. So Sam and I are gonna sit in the blind, wait for these ducks to fly, and hopefully we can shoot our 10 green heads and then two bonus ducks, either a pintail or a widgeon. I'd be all about it. Or green wing teal. Don't sleep on them. What are they? They're big though. Should we bust them up? Yeah. The one in the, they're all three. Gaddies, bro. Have Should we have them. busted up some gaddies, Sam? <laughs> I couldn't tell what they were at first. I couldn't tell until they were right by the spinners. I'm like, huh. Oh my god. Are you gonna dump into these? Dumping into these. Look at it. Shoot a drink. Oh no. <laughs> he sucked. Dude, I didn't shoot a single one. They all they all got up so fast, bro. I whipped so hard. Here we go. Is this a trick? Shoot it. Wow, I suck, dude. Did you get them? Nope. Really? Mm-mm. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna go retrieve mine. Well, you got one? Nice. Well, we just had a little five packer come in, and golly, I don't know. I was trying to decipher if it was a hen or a drake, and pretty sure it was a drake, and I just, I missed it. Luckily, Samuel shot one of his so that's good but huh i gotta clean the shooting up man it's a freaking stud man oh wow why is that thing wait. huge wait what is that wait. what was that why wait, is the so weird that's what i mean what wait let me see the wait wings. is this a hybrid look at the wings is what it? is it wait. A... what the heck well, Sam just got back and he shot a cool looking duck. We're not, really sure, we're not really sure yet what it is, but it looks crazy, dude. I think it's a gadwall mallard. Like a maybe? gaddy mallard, maybe? I have no idea, but it's kind of cool looking. It looks super dope, bro. Huh. I'm mounting it. Hey, at least you shot good, brother, man. Hey, still hey. shot three times at him. <laughs> hey, you got, it's a perfect mounter, though. Like, you know, I Oh, mean, yeah, he's not banged up. No. And, oh, he's perfect. All right. Well, I guess we'll just wait in here and see if we can get some more. Right here on the left. Oh, two. Shoot that one. Nice. I like having that stubble on my my gun. Here, here we go. Shoot those two. Nice. You got them both, Sam. That's the best they're giving us right now, bro. Know, they're giving us the over top floating. Yeah, they they act like they're gonna set up nicely, and then I don't know what happens at the Should end just there. Just be silhouettes. I mean, these yeah. have been fresh. I don't know, dude. That's... But we'll take what we can get, man. Yeah. Good shooting. All right, guys. So the current situation: all the birds are flying right now, but unfortunately, the wind completely switched directions, and our spread is not set up for the wind that's happening right now. 
And instead of trying to get out and uh, fix the spread or do anything like that, like they're just constantly flying, like thousands of birds. I think Sam and I are going to just sit back, relax, and just kind of watch a show, watch these ducks fly around, and then figure out a better game plan for tomorrow. Um, that'll probably be a different video. But yeah, I mean, Sam and I currently both have two mallards apiece, and Sam has some type of hybrid, which we don't know what it is. We'll talk about that later. Uh, but yeah, I just thought I'd let you guys know that instead of, instead of burning all of these thousands of birds just to shoot a couple, we're just gonna sit here, relax, and have a have a blast watching all these birds work. Huh. Huh. And that's like half the birds, Slayman. That's probably half the birds right there. The other half are already landed on the other side of the hill. We love that. Slayman, what'd you shoot here, bud? We don't know yet. I think it's a farm duck, but kind of, I don't know. I'm thinking farm duck, it's gotta be. I don't know. Like, the wing isn't like it's black, a dude. normal mallard. Like, mm -hmm. we can do a side by side yeah, comparison yeah, yeah. here. All right, so this is the duck that Sam shot, and then this is just a regular Drake Mallard. And you can already tell, like up top here, like there's there's no brown. And Sam on the other side. It Even just, up through here. yeah, up through there, just way different. And on the tail feathers here, these are usually more white on the mallard. Oh yeah, true. Like look all, how white like, that is, dude. All the mallards too. Like, it's yeah, not dude. just that mallard, you know, it's. Oh yeah, that's is way more way, significant way more white. white than than the oddball right, right there right. but i mean and, and then just look at the mass yeah like the mass look like this is sam's duck is massive dude yeah. compared to this one well, this is a little baby compared to that one and this yeah. isn't a small mallard but yeah then let's see the the wing here the wings well clear as day you guys can see a difference right there like blue and then it's more black black bluish and then this is where you can really tell the difference like no brown no brown really whatsoever. This guy is just all this gray color right there. I mean, that that's pretty crazy to see right there. But congrats. Thank We're gonna you. have to bring it to Caden, dude. Yeah, we are. So huge shout out to Caden. If you guys are in the South Dakota area and need your birds done, go check out our boy, Open Water Taxidermy. We've been taking our birds to him for the last couple of years and he does a wonderful job and he gets them back to you pretty darn quick. But as you can tell, as I was saying in the blind, the situation was we had like 5,000 birds flying over us and they really didn't want anything to do with our spread because Sam and I set up for a south wind and the wind completely changed east. So we had the wind blowing in our face because we were decided to do a cross shoot tonight. And Sam and I, instead of like trying to take terrible shots at birds tonight and, and shooting into the bigger flocks, we said, you know what, let's just bird watch, let's just hang out, and then come back here tomorrow and do this correctly. All right, we didn't want to burn these birds. So it, it does suck watching them all fly right now, dumping into the cornfield, but hey, like I said in previous videos, it's not all about killing guys. I had an awesome time shooting a couple birds with my brother and seeing him shoot that cool little hybrid. That was like the cherry on top of them. You guys have to stay tuned for the next video because Sam and I are going to come back out here and do this correctly to hopefully get a nice pile of green heads. But thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Comment down below what you guys think that bird was that Sam shot. I'll catch you guys on the next one.